Hello! One month ago, I drastically improved my life after testing out and loving a whole bunch of different TikTok cleaning hacks. And today, we are putting literal hours of scrolling TikTok to work and we are testing out even more cleaning hacks. And you guys, once again, these hacks did not disappoint. I am filming this intro right now on day two post testing out all of these hacks and there are some really good ones. Many will be entering my cleaning rotation going forward. So let's get right into the video, but before we do, I have to shamelessly plug my channel. Please like and subscribe if you have not already and if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys and Go follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, just at my Zimmy. But even my hairstyle today is a TikTok hairstyle. So it is infiltrating all parts of my life again. Let's start in the kitchen. This first hack is going to save me so much money. And if you love Dawn Power Wash, hopefully it can save you a bunch of money too. It's from Grogu Simp. Again, apologies for any names that I butcher in any of these TikTok videos because some of the names and handles like like Grogu Simp are really weird. Anyways, she has a hack on how to refill your Dawn Power Wash without having to buy the expensive refills. Making this Dawn Power Wash refill is actually very simple, even though I'm making it look hard because I just spilled alcohol everywhere. But just take your 91% isopropyl alcohol and fill it to the bottom of the P on the Power Wash. Then take the dish soap of your choice and fill it to the midpoint of the D on the Dawn logo. If you want a true dupe of the power wash, then use the blue platinum Dawn dish soap. I personally just prefer fragrance-free dish soap, so today I am using the Palm Olive Pure and Clear. Then top off the bottle with water and shake well or agitate for any moms who have watched way too many Ryan Toys Review Science videos and then squirt. It might take a while to get it to come through, but it will come through and it works just as well as the regular Dawn Power Wash. This next cleaning hack is a Tupperware cleaning hack from Simple Life Hacks that a ton of people have done across many different TikTok channels, pages, I don't know what you call them, but different TikTok people have done this and said it's worked. I have a couple great examples to do this test with because we do have a lot of spaghetti in our house and then leftovers that goes into lunch boxes and ultimately stains our Tupperware. And we're going to try this hack out. So it's very simple. All you need is dish soap, water, and a paper towel. I'll be honest, when I first saw this, it seemed too good to be true since the required materials are pretty much what you use to clean dirty dishes anyways, just hot water, soap, and a towel. The only difference is you put all the materials in the Tupperware together and shake it up really well. But I figured it was worth a try because I saw I saw so many people on TikTok trying this hack out and saying it worked. All right, I feel like I've shaken it for a solid 30 seconds. It still looks red. I mean, is it a little less red? Maybe, it didn't take out all the red stain. It still is red stain Tupperware. Save trees, save your paper towels, that TikTok cleaning hack is a dud. This next hack is actually one that I didn't see on TikTok, but in my last TikTok cleaning hacks video, multiple of you guys in the comments told me that I need to do this because it's something that y'all saw on TikTok. If your dishwasher gets pretty gross and stinky, which you clearly saw that mine did in my last video, I mean, it's pretty gross and grimy right now, but y'all told me that I should be cleaning the drain or like this mechanism device thing because a lot of food and just grossness can get caught up in it and make your dishwasher stink. And as I'm looking at this right now, there's food just hanging out around the perimeter of this. This dishwasher is very disgusting and needs to be cleaned right now. So let's do a proper thorough cleaning of the drain and just the dishwasher in general and also acknowledging that I know the cabinets around the dishwasher are really gross. We will get to that later in the video. First, we need to pop off the little water sprayer. I kind of freaked out here because this weird snot-like substance got on me and it freaked me out. Then we need to pop up the drain cover and oh. check out what's under the hood. Ew, ew, ew. Now, I'm not trying to break this. I'm just trying to get the food and muck that's trapped under here washed out. So I don't want to completely lift it off, 
but I'm gonna work out all the stuff that's accumulated in there. It actually took quite a while to clean everything out of here, especially because I didn't take off the cover completely, but I'm not gonna show all the detail of that because I didn't get very good angles, so you can't really see what I'm doing. Just know that it took probably a solid 20 minutes to get all the food and muck out of all the different little cracks, and it was quite gross. After wiping away excessive amounts of goo in the dishwasher, I went and cleaned the sprayer in the sink before putting it back in place. All put back together and looks so much cleaner down there now. Now I just have to actually clean, for realsies, this machine because it's still dirty. In my last cleaning hacks video, I learned that you can put a cup of white distilled vinegar in the top rack of your dishwasher turn it on on the sanitize cycle, and then it will come out sparkling clean. And I think it actually worked really well. This time I got a dishwasher cleaning hack from Carolina McCulley, and she put two tablespoons of citric acid in her dishwasher, cleaned it on the quick cycle, and it looked really clean. So I'm trying that out to see if it works better than the distilled white vinegar. I'm putting it on the sanitize cycle because anytime I clean my dishwasher, I always like to have it completely sanitized. And a few hours later, it looks just as clean and nice as when I use the distilled white vinegar. So I guess whatever you need to use up more, they both work great at cleaning out your dishwasher. Well, that does look pretty clean if I do say so myself. I, I thought that was food for a second. It's just a bolt. This next cleaning hack is going to have me feeling like an idiot if it works out because I make smoothies all the time and it's how to quickly and easily clean your smoothie or blender machine after use. So in order to try out this cleaning hack, I first am going to make myself the knockoff matcha frappuccino from Starbucks using my own little concoction. I use the same amounts of everything, just different ingredients. So first you add one cup of ice and then one one cup of whatever milk you want to choose. Hello, voice over my hair wanting to note, I do not drink this milk anymore because I realized it was giving me a belly ache. I am back to coconut milk now. If you make the true Starbucks knockoff version, I'm pretty sure they use whole milk or 2% milk. Then if you're making the Starbucks version, you would add three tablespoons of sugar. I'm only adding about one tablespoon and then I'm subbing two of the tablespoons with two packets of pure stevia a packet of matcha powder. I believe this is about a teaspoon of matcha. And then last, about a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. I just eyeball everything. Then blend it up well, and I like to put my frappuccinos and smoothies in an insulated cup. That way if my kids distract me and I forget about it, it doesn't all melt and go to waste. I am making an absolute mess. Good thing this is a cleaning video. Like, what the hell is wrong with me? We'll clean this up before it becomes a sticky mess because it's all over the cabinets and floor now, but it tastes good. So good. Now, this is where the TikTok cleaning hat comes in. Generally, I would throw this in the dishwasher and half the time, depending on what the smoothie is, it never gets fully clean. This is an example of one that I had just thrown into the dishwasher and like there's little just leftovers from the smoothie that never fully get washed out and it's so annoying. So the TikTok hack is just fill this with water and a drop of soap, put in water. I'm just gonna put in a spray of my power wash that I just made. Then you just blend it again for, I did about 10 seconds here and rinse it out in the sink and it is sparkling clean. I'm going to do this forever now. Especially when you compare it to the job that my dishwasher occasionally does, which is not completing its job fully. It's still a mess. Next TikTok cleaning hack is a super affordable Dollar Tree one. So you're gonna wanna go to Dollar Tree, buy this stick thing for a dollar, then buy this attachment for it for one dollar. Take off the packaging. <laughs> Screw it together, and boom, right here is a $2 mini Swiffer. And then they also sell all these really inexpensive $1 attachments to go along with it. If you already own the Swiffer and you don't wanna accumulate more and you just wanna use these fluffy duster heads, Angie Batis shared that you can secure it to the Swiffer with just some rubber bands, put the microfiber fluff over it, and then it works just fine. So this has Velcro on it and it just Velcros into place. So I wanted to try this out on my cabinets. I saw multiple TikToks where people were using these Dollar Tree 
floor items and they didn't use it on the floor. They used it to clean cabinets, windows, anything and everything. Also, I don't know if you can tell, like this table is really dirty. There's like crap all over it. My house isn't clean 100% of the time. Actually, it's mostly not clean unless I clean it and then my kids destroy it two seconds later. But big breath. I'm still recovering from the Rona right now. Um, so sorry if this video hasn't been as high of energy. I'm really trying right now, but I don't know if you can tell. I'm struggling to breathe and I'm getting sweaty just sitting here talking. Anyways, if you've noticed the background of this video, it's pretty messy in the house because I have done little to nothing for the last week and I'm just getting back to cleaning now. So let's get to it. Supposedly the beauty of using these for things other than just the floor is you don't have to get on your hands and knees to clean everything. I have not used this pad on anything other than these cabinets right now. And I'm just gonna spray down the cabinets with this wood cleaner and see how it works. Not having to get on my hands and knees to clean everything. Okay, the cabinet hack that I saw this on, they had modern flat cabinets. It didn't have all these nooks and crannies like my cabinets do. So this isn't working out as great as I originally thought because you can't, you can't get into the these corners with this device. Also, not to mention these lower cabinets are really freaking dirty. Between being next to the dishwasher and getting the splash over from that and being at a level where my kids can rub their dirty little hands all over them, I needed a little more elbow grease on the lower disaster cabinets to get them clean. So I'll show you my little hack that I use to get crusty food off my cabinets without scratching them, and then we will revisit the Swiffer knockoff hack on the upper cabinets that aren't so crazy. There's a lot of crud that gets on my cabinets from my kids, and I use this little just plastic scraper thing whenever I'm trying to clean up the cabinets or the wood and I don't want it to get scuffed up because I mean for obvious reasons but this little plastic scraper thing is great at getting off all the weird food and stuff that my kids put on the cabinets without actually scratching my cabinets. I think it's like $5 on Amazon. I'll have it linked below. It's the brand Lodge but yeah it's just this plastic scraper that works great. It's intended for dishes, I believe, but I use it all the time on cabinets and things that I don't wanna get all scratched up, but they're really freaking dirty. As a grown person, you sometimes forget like just how dirty the lower cabinets can get since it's not at your eye level. So I just did this process with all my lower cabinets, scraped off all the food and then polished them up. And now we're going to move to the upper cabinets that aren't so crazy. Okay, so on these upper cabinets here, they're not the cleanest because I never really clean them, but this is a good opportunity to use this because as I stated before, I'm still recovering from a very not fun illness and I'm not gonna be climbing all the way up here trying to clean every nook and cranny of this cabinet, but it does warrant a quick wipe down. So I'm just going to spray this with the wood cleaner and then, oh, this is awesome. I'm just gonna do a quick, quick surface level polish just so that the upper cabinets can at least look nicely polished like the bottom ones. I was elated with this hack in the end. It was so easy to just spray the wood cleaner right onto the cleaning pad and then do a surface wipe down of the cabinet so that they looked nice and polished and it in the end actually got a lot of dust off. I mean, it definitely picked up a lot of just random dust and stuff from those cabinets because I wipe down the top cabinets so rarely. Now I can just un-Velcro this and throw it in the washing machine. Another way I saw this being used was using this fluffy microfiber dusting attachment to just dust and clean around doors, walls, high places that very rarely, if ever, get cleaned. So let's go around and see how much dust we can get with this. It's got a little dust. 
Overall thoughts for $3, this is quite effective and it did pick up a lot of dust, but the Swiffer Duster ultimately does work better, it just is more money. This next hack is one that I will be using for the rest of my life because it is so amazing, it is so easy, and it is just the best hack to clean glass and mirrors. All you need is your Swiffer or knockoff Swiffer, then attach a regular paper towel to the end and use that to wipe down your mirror quickly without having to risk your life climbing up to reach every single corner. I don't use that many paper towels, so I wanted to test out some other ways to maximize this hack. I still use the Spray Away Glass Cleaner because I really do feel like it's the best glass cleaner on the market. The first alteration I tried was using the Dollar Tree Mop and Mop Head to wipe down the window. Unfortunately, it left some streaks, but I ran over it with a paper towel and it was then clean. Next, I tried doing the same thing the lady in the TikTok did where it was just the paper towel over the Swiffer. It worked on the top of the window, but on such a big window, the paper towel eventually fell apart because it just got too wet, so I had to wipe down the remainder of the window just by hand. What worked out the best was using my polishing microfiber cloths that I always use by hand to clean any glass or windows, but hooking it to the Swiffer was life-changing. I can actually clean these massive windows easily without having to fetch a ladder now. I was so happy with this hack, in fact, that as I'm moving to the bathroom hacks now, I have to do this on the bathroom mirror because it, it's my new favorite hack. Doing it like more lopsided this time so that once this gets all wet, I still have all this that should be fairly dry. It's so much easier to clean mirrors like this. I'm gonna shift it so that it's the dry part again and then just do one quick little pass. I mean, I don't see any streaks really. Maybe right here, to it. Oh my gosh, I think that's the fastest and easiest and least sweatiest I've ever cleaned this mirror. And you may not have been able to see it, but it did a good job at getting all the toothpaste crap that was hanging out right there off. Speaking of toothpaste, I really am interested to know y'all's opinions on this next tag. Please let me know in the comments below. But if your kids make an absolute mess in the bathroom with the toothpaste, I mean really no fault of their own, their hand-eye coordination is just not that great. But it's very, very messy as you can see. What the f did they put in this cap? It looks like they lined it with diaper cream? Anyways, in this hack, if you have a thicker toothpaste, you liquefy it a bit with mouthwash till it's more of a hand soap consistency. Then you put it in a soap dispenser and it helps little ones not use so much with one controlled pump and it's ultimately less cleanup for you. I got this plastic pump from Target and this has actually been working out great in our house so far. I stuck with a plastic pump over a nice glass one cause if my kids can't even handle a standard tube of toothpaste, it seemed irresponsible to replace it with glass. Not trying to create new problems here. But this plastic pump week one is working out great and right now you are watching me cleaning up a bunch of dried up toothpaste for the last time. And a hack if you don't wanna do this super extra extra soap pump toothpaste thing is just use a magic eraser to clean up toothpaste around the sink. It works great. Next cleaning hack is the cleaning hack that started all cleaning hacks on TikTok and that is putting a bottle of Fabuloso in the tank of your toilet. What the hell? Is this leaking already? I have stuff all over my hands. Anyways, this was the TikTok cleaning hack that I feel like started all other TikTok cleaning hacks. And that is putting a bottle of Fabuloso or Mr. Clean in the back of your toilet to help every flush be fresher. All right, let me, let me clean this. I know it's about to go in the back of this thing, but I still feel like I should clean it up and at least clean up this mess here. So all you need to do for this one is take off the back of your toilet. All right, this, this is the dangerous part. I'm, I hope I don't get hurt. I'm afraid it's gonna explode on me. Oh, oh, this is hard. How the hell do people do this? Oh, I feel like it's gonna squirt everywhere. Oh, 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 all right, there, there it goes. All right, you stab it. Stab a little X into the back. Oh, oh all right, um, abort. It's 
plenty of a hole. And at this point, I got distracted by the mess and I forgot to take off the outside plastic label. So don't worry, I have gone back and taken it off so it doesn't like fall off and break my toilet or anything like that. But overall, I think this is a success. The water doesn't look purple or anything. It looks a little soapy. I wish I could smell it. I actually have no idea what it smells like, even though it's all over my hands and spilled all over the counter and now coming out of my toilet, I still can't smell because of the Rona. All right, let's clean up the crime scene. Next is another Dollar Tree find. This tidy bowl is an automatic toilet bowl cleaner that you put into the back of your toilet and it's supposed to keep your toilet clean and smelling fresh for 300 flushes. It has a little hanging attachment that you pop out on the bottom, take off the cap and just hang it in. All right, it's blue. I can't I can't smell anything right now. Closing out this video with homework for you because I'm not able to complete this hack because my drain cover can't be unscrewed or removed. But this hack looks life-changing if your sink has this and you've never cleaned it. If you can unscrew it, I want you to go try this now and let me know in the comments below if it's clean underneath or as disgusting as shown here. I'm so curious about this. I wish I could do it. Also, if you ever see any great TikTok cleaning hacks, please feel free to share them with me. I love finding ways to make life easier. And if you want to keep hanging out, you can click on one of the videos floating over the screen at this point, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.